It's about five great places to find uh, rights cleared content for you to use in the classroom. This thing, rights cleared, uh, may not mean much to you right now, but let's uh, start off properly. There we go. Um, essentially, as I'm sure many of you already know, you're not supposed to go and just take images willy nilly from the internet or any other materials that you can go to take them in the classroom. You, you are supposed to have the right to use them, make sure you've got the right to use them. And you don't have the right to use most things out there on the internet. You need to know this, you should need to know this. Some of you already do, possibly. Don't just go using Google Images. You are putting yourself at risk of being fined. It has happened to a school not a million miles from here recently, and a local authority not very far from here. Um, you can also be opening yourself up to legal action as well. And oh, uh, oh, moreover, you've got a responsibility to teach digital literacy. That's uh, part of the curriculum for excellence. And just as a general professionalism, you're supposed to be inculcating good habits with your students. So don't just go on the internet and grab whatever you want for your teaching. Where can you go then? Five quick places. Uh, the first one is something called Scran. Some of you might have already heard of it. Every school in Scotland has full free access to it. The university here has full free access, so do most universities around the, uh, uh, the country. Um, I've got an association with them. You're not supposed to push products, even if they're free. So I'm not going to say much more about it now. Just come and find me later if you want to know more. Otherwise, Scotland on screen is another fantastic place to go. It's lots and lots of rights cleared, copyright cleared material for you to use from the Scottish Screen Archive. Lots of films on all sorts of topics and subjects. You can download them with a Glow username and password. You can edit them, you can output them in different ways. You can share them around your class, do lots of different things, but it's all free and it's all there for teachers to use with a Glow username and password. Uh, another similar site, Languages on Screen, has lots of rights cleared films for you to use in foreign languages, in this case Spanish, French, German, Italian. Again, you can use these, you can download them, you can edit them, you can do whatever you want with them pretty much, as long as you're not uh, sharing them outside of the, the teaching system, the licensed system. Uh, the fourth place to go, uh, go to Google's advanced image search. Now you're thinking, hang on, just a second ago I was saying don't use Google Images. Well that's true, don't just go to Google Images and pull down the first things that you can find. But by all means, use the advanced image search, which not many people do. Uh, you'll notice there near the bottom, there are tools that allow you to search for images where somebody has asserted that you have uh, full usage rights over them. Uh, you can see that just uh, near the bottom there. Uh, this doesn't absolve you as teachers of the need to make sure for yourself that you're allowed to use the materials, but this is a good way of uh, putting you towards some of the materials that you might be able to use um, with full rights. So have a look at the advanced image search. The last thing, the fifth thing, is simply to ask for permission. You don't have the automatic right to use anything you on the internet. You could get into trouble if you don't ask permission. But there's nothing stopping you asking permission. If you find the author of something you'd really like to use in the classroom, a piece of text or uh, a picture or a video clip or a piece of music or something like that, just find them and ask them. And if they say yes, great. The worst thing they can do is say no. But what you can do is you can turn it into a class exercise. Writing for a different audience, letter writing, researching all these things, you can make it part of the lesson. So uh, feel free to ask. That's it.